All right, welcome back. Um, yeah, so after beating the dragon in hard mode, you get the abyssal outfit, which is great. You also dragon forge everything as usual. Yes, hello. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm sure you'll find all you need. Is buy. I got a bob. Any of these I don't have. I have Wounded Flurry. I have, I have that. Um, it's mostly skeletons. I think this would work pretty well against uh, what you call living armor. I might end up getting this. But maybe not. We'll see. I already got it. I'm not sure if I got this already, um, but I'm not going to be, I don't have stamina hammer yet, that's sad. Mm. Alright, so, Goblin Bane, maybe, I think Goblin Bane, yes, Evil Eyesight for sure. Where's the other one? These are all DLC weapons. I'm just looking for the Cage Fury. Definitely. Okay, these three. Um, none of these three I probably want to have actually uh, I'll probably be able to actually upgrade Cage Fury the fastest. Just on my own. The other two I wouldn't be able to upgrade. So I'll do that way. Dragons with Cage Fury. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. It's the regular version of this. So we'll swap over to using Cage Fury as soon as we can upgrade it. Everything else makes sense. I'm sure you'll find all you need. Anytime. So now that he's in cash with us, he's a lot easier I'm to sure get to. Find all you need. Any uh but it does put Fort of All out of pocket for us. Now, we can talk to her. Yes, well enough, you'll find not. Good, she still likes me. I like that. Um, I don't think I have any kunai yet. Go ahead and get a pair. Oh, they're expensive. I might not. I might not actually do that. Do I have a better option? Yeah, they're not that serious. I'm thinking from a magic archer's perspective. Do I have a better option? Alright, none of this I care about. What do I actually care about that she has? The sultry set, right? So we got the sultry cow. And I think I'm I think I'll save this for next playthrough. Sultry cow I didn't get a piece of yet. Bane said I need to get my hands on. Some reset. If you look at the resistances, some resets better for an arisen. No, actually, no, it's not. I'm lying. That's petrification. That's not possession. I thought that was possession for a second. Maintenance petticoat. I already have one. Frame plate. I could work on eventually. Okay, I'm just looking for the female stuff. 
I already have three ladies corsets. I should probably sell one. All right, what else goes with the sultry set? Let me check. Because that's going to be, it's either that or the maiden set that I'm going to do next. Guys, I'm 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 at a loss. I do not know what I'm going to do to get three stars on Warm Welcome. I looked at the wiki and the wiki had no answers for me. I have no idea how I screwed that mission up. Well, I don't have three stars on it. So we're just gonna do it again normally. I'll probably take my time a little bit more and then we'll see what happens. Uh let's see. What was I thinking about soldier? So she said. White stockings. I don't have white stockings yet, so where are those? Hopefully she sells them. Yes, she does. Who used a no woman's corset instead of a ladies' corset? I'll just compare the two items real quick, see if there's any real reason to use the ladies' corset. All right, so no woman's corset, silence and curse, ladies' corset, just silence, but at thirty percent. Whereas the no woman's is silence twenty. No one's is clearly better and has better stats obviously, but it's a clothing piece so it's not that big of a deal as far as uh, the defense the defensive stats go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no wounds corset. There's there's no real reason to to take losses as far as that goes. Um alchemical stuff can go with it. I wonder why don't you use alchemical hosen with this? Like what is the alchemical set in e anyway? Like it's just what? The bangles, the vest, the hosen, the cloak, right? The vest is a clothing item probably, right? Yeah it is. So it could honestly probably go with this set. The hosen is probably a clothing item as well. Yes it is. The hat So there's a sultry hood and a sultry pareo. So it's armor and head armor. I feel like based on color the sultry goes with the alchemical pretty well and especially since they both come from Maline. Like, I feel like that all goes together. Let me see if I have anything on alchemical in my guide real quick. Sage stuff. Yeah, that's it. Just alchemical bangles for sage stuff. Yeah, I feel like those go together. I feel like I want to go ahead and get... If I can find the rest of alchemical stuff, I want to go put all that together and make that a thing. So, yeah. Alchemical Fest or Alchemic Fest. A little bit of Edward, Edward Elric in the house. Um, what else? The Bangles we should already have. Yes, I do. The Hosen, I already have a copy. Nice. And the Cloak. Hey, made it nice and easy for me. Now you can buy the entire thing. Everything I just named off, you can buy from. Uh, my line um, because all this stuff about strikers greaves and all that yeah sure but well I don't I still don't have any leg armor for her 
so I should probably think about that as well. The, the main issue with getting her leg armor is I'm pretty sure there's like, maybe just red over me, but it's honestly. Flame Skirt's already, I already have a maxed out copy of that, so it's going to be something. Alright, here's what we'll do. Um, dang, it doesn't let me compare what things would look like. Alright, you know what? I'm going to buy all this stuff first, and then I'm going to compare. Sorry guys, it's turned into a dress up, <laughs> a dress up video. <laughs> but this, honestly, this is fun. Fashion Dogma is fun. Uh, I don't have a cowl on me. Did I already buy a soldier cowl? Oh no. That's why. Hold up. It's all, it's all in the inventory. Hold up. Yeah. And we will be finishing new gun, new new gun plus, new game plus. This uh, episode, it was not going to be that difficult to do. We literally have to kill an evil eye, and then we're done. It's like um, Cage Fury. I think I will be using Cage Fury. That's fine. As you will. I think I need to change my uh, what you call this. Okay, so, uh, change equipment. I might just end up keeping this set on, too. Like, like I don't care about. See, here's what I think. The summary set looks so much better if you actually look at it. I don't know if I have a summary for AO to, to compare, but the summary set does look just so much better. Um, so what was down here? It was that alchemic vest. I can find it. Apparently, I'm terrible at finding things today. Yeah, the ladies' corset took, looks terrible with this. No woman's corset looks a ton better. Um, I guess I can do no woman's corset with. Uh, are they both armor? No, they're both clothing. Dang, that makes it a lot harder. Cause then where do I what do I put over the maiden's camisole? I guess the maiden's petticoat goes with the maiden's camisole, huh? It does. It's weird because they're both chess pieces. Okay. Huh. Hmm. I'm trying to plan around new game. See, these two both go together. <sighs> what are the female only pieces? I guess is the question then. Because the alchemical shirt is not a female only piece. I can do that by itself. I would still want to look at it for a second. Here it is. Alchemic vest. Um, so I could do alchemic vest by itself. Um, do I know what goes on the, on the hands here? I don't think there was like a... I don't think I had one planned for the hands yet. So in theory, it could just be flame skirt, but we were looking at the red over knee boots. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Right. Yeah, put on out. Yeah, that looks good. I don't know what it. Oh, torpor. We like torpor resistance here, guys. And then um, alchemical hosing. Yeah, look at look at that. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And then um the alchemical cloak should be at the bottom here. So this I'm wearing the purple one now because I was wearing the Look at this. Look look at this flyness. Tell me yeah, yeah, this this is this is what this is what peak performance looks like. This is this is perfect. I wanna run around with this set. Alright, but I can't do that because I need to upgrade this uh another piece. So um, I will be upgrading the No Woman's Corset instead of the, uh, Alchemical Shirt. You know what, even, here's, here's when showing too much skin is, just doesn't work out. Like, the other way with the Alchemic Vest just looks better. 
not because of the scarring and stuff. I'm just saying it looks better in general. Like this looks way more like a character you want to role play than this. And maybe somebody will feel different in the comments, but this looks I don't I don't feel like role playing this character. Like this this looks like I don't know, something that you would do in a Skyrim bar with a certain naughty mods enabled, right? But this looks like yeah, I'm ready to go to battle. Alright, anyway. No one's course up because we have to, because it's a female piece. We have to get all the female pieces knocked out. I'm gonna go ahead and swap armor now, I don't care. Um As you will. it saves me time in the long run. Actually it doesn't save me any time because I have to swap armor again at the beginning of the next playthrough, so but I'm just gonna do it now anyway, because why not? As you will. Um let me figure out something to wear for. So we want red over knee boots, right? Red over knee boots, and then alchemical hose, and then we'll have to do something about uh, arms. So funny bone guards, arm crest. I don't think there's a like a set in stone one that you just go, oh alchemical bangles I guess <laughs> yeah I could probably equip those yeah so every pe I would say sultry set and alchemical set go together they go together like hand in hand pretty well like that's it, they just look good together let me, let me go ahead and put this these alchemical bangles on and then let me put on the last piece not put it on but just display it yeah, this looks like this is highly respectable. This is a highly respectable set. Everything matches. Everything looks serious. Like this looks like you're going out like you you are a female that is going out to kill a dragon or who has good are already good at doing it. Like this looks like you're an expert at murdering dragons already. Like this is great. You know what? I changed my mind like nah, never mind the summary set. This looks serious. This is very serious right here. Okay. But well, we don't get that option right now. We have to upgrade the female only armor. So <sighs> tits out guys. <laughs> uh uh, do you want to do a challenge? Uh it's a free rapier. It's only a slight a slight diversion. Um but before I go do that, I need to Alright, first of all, I don't really need Conqueror's Perry apps, but we'll keep them on anyway. Withdraw. Who grabbed last time? It was my pawn that grabbed last time, right? I'm talking about Seneschal. I know my mind's all over the place, but I'm thinking, like, into the future, since we are going to going to finish this episode by beating the, uh, the Seneschal, I might as well get enough to last for the entire episode, honestly. I'm going to grab, grab that many. Uh, one thing I didn't do last episode that probably hugely negatively affected my play, my ability to kill a dragon, and I kind of feel stupid saying it, but you guys might have realized already, is that I did not change my augments when I went from ranger to sorcerer, which means that I was not doing anywhere near the amount of damage I should have been doing against uh against Grigori. That makes me sad. Because that those kind of things have a huge impact on your playthrough. True. What can I do you for? As you will. I'm probably gonna need grits some in case fury. As you will. I guess the real question is, do I immediately try to dragon forge this or like let's see. I could try to dragon forge it real fast. I'll keep green, clean dragon sword on me just in case. First thing I want to do is actually get my augments put together, get my life together real quick, guys. Oh man, just looking at that. I tell you what, what I am going to do, I might end up trying to individually upgrade the noble woman's corset while I'm still a female. While I'm just trying to individually upgrade this, uh, the staff. Mm, or not. I might just use staff bear. Alright. So, learn skills. Oh, set skills. 
stronger will if there is aught I can do. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this nonsense that I'm doing right here. Look at my life. Alright, so um impact works. So you never change the top three here. These three work on every single every single location. Um what well, we are going to change are these. So this is going to be acuity. As soon as I can find it. Yep. Um, articulacy, obviously, because <laughs> we would like to cast faster than I was casting last episode. Um, and then eminence. No, we can't use that. So we're going to use grit here because I'm using what you call it. I'm going to use grit because I'm using what you call it. Um, Cage Fury, and you can't, con unlike with Force Hatchet, you, you can't just stop attacking with your, with your Archer Staff. So normally you want to use something like, um, what's the one that gives you, uh, where is it? It might be Inflection, but I don't think it's Inflection. Um, stability would be great, even though you normally just want to use Boots for that. Uh, but you have to do BBI level 3. Do I not have it? I might not have it. If there is aught I can do, augments conservation no. gravitas. Yeah, so normally you'd want to use gravitas to increase your likelihood of getting knocked off your feet even more, or of not getting knocked off your feet. Um, decrease your likelihood of getting knocked out your feet. Normally you want to use Gravitas here. I don't have the room to do that because if I'm getting hit at all, that means I'm probably going to lose Grit. I'm going to zero stamina. So it's just better to use Grit here for this, uh, for this vocation at this point in time. Um, Only a stronger will. Pray. So do I save here? Yeah, I didn't. I think I do. Um, I'm still gonna keep this on me just because it will increase, allow me to increase my magic quite a bit if I need it, and it'll probably be useful against the the evil eye in general. Hmm. Okay. I need to go talk to Alon as well. Make sure that I unlock his post game uh, stuff. I need to talk to Alon and I need to talk to Jace to make sure I'm unlocking both of their post game um, inventories because I forgot to do it last time. And I guess it doesn't register that you've been to post game unless you talk to them in post game. I know I've talked to him in post game, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about this. Two stars. Two stars would make this kind of hard to upgrade. That's my only problem. Like, even with Ur Dragon. That's pretty hard. That's a pretty difficult upgrade. Um. It does increase my magic quite a bit. I was thinking about something else I need to do while I'm still a uh, mage, and I forgot what it was. But it's something I have to do by the end of the fourth playthrough here. I just forgot what it was. Um, did I just try with minimum cage fury? I think I do. Well, I will upgrade is the Stone Gloom's corset for sure, though. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Closest dragon. Well, I need to go to Conqueror Sanctuary anyway. I need to go to all these places, so I might as well go to Daredevil Fire Grove. Okay. So, 
I think we start by Dragon Forging. So let's go this way. How light am I? Just light. Oh wait. I'm still an idiot. Sorry about this. It's not, at least I didn't get all the way down the road first. I should probably get rid of all my dark skills. Dark doesn't help. I'm just having a double jump. I must believe only a stronger will. A will is if there is all I can do. Yeah, this is fine, but <sighs> what was I running before? Let's go with voice spell here. And then um all these can go. I'm pretty sure I want to use... I don't know why I have Ice Affinity. I don't think I need it. I can probably put my Asthma on here. I'll put Void Spell over that spot though. That just, that just feels weird. Alright, um... See what I want to actually run according to my guide for the most part. Think about what I'm gonna need. It's probably just gonna be mostly holy focus boat, but Maelstrom might still come in handy against the it's mostly gonna be like Hybelite type stuff. I know I'm gonna need Hybelite. Um Habilite, and then what else? Dark, fire, holy, ice for the Drake that I'm about to fight. So just sell. Uh, I think that covers everything. That's just off the top of my head. I didn't actually manage to get to the part in the guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm here now, though. Uh. Levin, Glacelle, Belide, I don't need Levin for this though. Maelstrom, Holy Affinity, High Angle. Yeah, I mean that's solid, it'll do a lot of work. I want to go with my asthma here though. I do want to go with my asthma here, right? There's going to be enemies in the, in the future that having Levin for is going to be better against though. Then now the last question is angle versus high void spell. I feel like if I do get petrified, I'm gonna feel stupid. And since I'm using not perfect sets, there's a higher chance I'm gonna get petrified. So I might as well go this route. And then these all make sense. Uh, using Kate's Fury, I'm not sure if having these very big spells, because all the all of my spells are huge except for Levin. No, actually, you know what? I will go with High Angle. And we'll just rely on um, either Luna Nice. Well, I guess we'll have to rely on Monk's Parry App to keep us from getting killed in certain scenarios. But if you're doing I must only stronger first. will. A will is your if there is aught I can do. Sorry guys, it just doesn't <laughs> having angle right here just doesn't always put angle on the on the X button. Like your primary easy attacks. Your bread and butter is always going to X button. Aerial attacks on the Y button. Then a buff can go on the on the B button. It just feels more comfortable that way. If there is only pray, take care. The more often I use an attack, the more likely I win it on the X button that I use for light attacking. The heavier or aerial attacks go on the Y button, and then attacks I barely ever use go on the B button. Okay, that's that's settled. I think I'll just make a big old circle here.
Um. So, actually, here's a chance I can do the setup for. Um, I think I will be using this as an opportunity to set up for. Um, yeah, I'll use this as an opportunity to set up. And honestly, it might make more sense to put it there in the long run. But um, for speedrun mode, I'm going to set up this port crystal right here outside of the ancient fort's ancient quarry's north entrance. Speedrun. That makes sense. Um, so instead of going in a circle first, then I'll go in here. Because I could just use this to warp out. Sorry guys, I'm researching, writing, everything at the same at the same time. Hopefully my base magic is high enough. I need my base magic to be high enough to uh, compensate for the fact that this weapon basically does no damage. That are, I could just use the regular dragon's whip to do damage, but I didn't want to do that. In the hole we go. Yep. Now you just go forward like this, you follow the road, yellow brick road. Oh, Ogre Bone, guys. You didn't hear about that? It's a great thing. Oh, wow. The I'm strong. I'm weak. I was about to say I'm strong. No, I'm weak. I'm the opposite of whatever that strong is. Hopefully this... I don't have that much, inf uh, I've probably only used, what, Cage Fury once, so I don't have much experience with it. Oh, right, I didn't even need to keep Maelstrom, because the Black Hydra is, uh, isn't the one that's weak the Holy, it's the Arc Hydra. Well, no, the Black Hydra is the one that's weak to dark. I should have said that. Alright, anyway. My best bet with this is the Caspalide. I've got four targets, so I'll use them. Oh, I should have got a, a pawn with the uh, Lide. And most of my problem here is just... Actually, this still isn't that bad. And that's why we have grit. Oof. Look at that damage. Here's the problem. The same problem I'm having now, I'm going to have against the evil eye. Which is, these small guys harassing me are just going to keep harassing me, realistically.
There we go. Okay. So far, I'm really liking Cage Fury. Really liking it. I'm not upset with this weapon at all. I'm gonna keep it with you guys. This weapon is doing its job quite well. Love to see it, especially when you're using Cage Fury. <laughs> Did I not get any drops from this? Or what happened? Oh, here we are. I say I don't. I don't actually fight normal Hydras on a regular basis, so it'd be nice if I picked up some items from it. This is one creature they could have used in one more place. I guess they did kind of rectify that fight out in Bitter Black, but still, they can use this creature in one more place. Like, naturally, in the overworld, where you had to fight it. Okay, so, how many port crystals do I need to relocate? It looks like five of them. No, four of them to get ready for speedrun mode, so this will be the first one we relocate. We're going to take this one to the north entrance of the ancient quarry. Oh. No, you didn't. So you didn't see none. Yes, Pawn Chatter is a lot less annoying when it's written rather than constantly blaring in your ear the same phrases. Like, it's cute to an extent, but after a while it just turns into like, yo, just shut up. Seriously. I don't know if that heals or... What does Shaston do? Some health. Yeah, it heals. I've never seen this chest before. Look what happens when you take a different path than normal. One of the things you never saw before. <laughs> Must that chest be a chest that has normally has a weapon like the Infinity Plus One Divine Axis or something? Oh yeah, you were looking for the Buster Sword? It's right there. Can't believe you missed it. You could have got it as early as as Double Fire Grove. Alright, so unlike basically everywhere else in New Game Plus, this stays safe. As you can see, I'm, I'm running, but my stamina is refilling. And I'm going the wrong way anyway. Yeah. Ancient Quarry is still safe. So you can just run straight through it. Without worrying about your stamina. You won't be lacking the stamina. Alright. So, we need to, uh, I think get the rest of the steel set from Milan. If I can afford it. Actually, let me see if he's even selling it. No, he's not. What are you selling that's new? Bronze? I don't want it. Um, fish? <sighs> Bro, you about to just take this juice. I'd give him a resistance bond just to make it faster, but... I'm not that kind of desperate. Hey, we love to see it. There we go. What are you selling me for weapons? Nothing better than what I already got, but still. Okay. You sell some new staves. Okay. Still sell A. Still K. 
hear us. He sells a lot of stuff. Let's do gauntlets. The reason we want this is I think it has the highest, uh, what you call it. What are those stats called? Um, hold up, I'll look at it in a second. Um, Bales and piercing. It might have been, might have been something else. I forgot what was special about the steel set. One second. Find steel. Steel armor set, it's good for brilliance because it has the highest bash and slash resistance in the game. So that's how you want that with these items. Uh, you don't sell any of that stuff. You do have one more ogre bone. We'll take it off of you. We'll get four. And I'm running out of money again. Go figure, guys. Here you are. Great. We'll live, though. Um, I don't actually want to go backwards that way. So when you're using the uh, Magic Shield Brilliance that you can get from the Black Cat, it lowers your uh, defense to zero, your physical defense to zero. So, what you can do to sort of counteract that is to increase your slash and bash um, resistance as high as possible, which would be 60% each. It's still not going to save you from everything, but if you have a high enough health total, it'll help. Like, some of your one shots will become two shots, some of your two shots will become three shots. And honestly, if you're not getting one hit KO'd, then you have enough time to heal, usually. Alright, so we're going to put port crystal right yeah the reason we're putting the port crystal here is for uh worm king's ring now granted in a real sp speed run you could completely skip that quest altogether right so you wouldn't even worry about worm king's ring but for my pseudo speed runs uh new game three and four what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Worm King's Ring because that's the whole point of doing a new game plus three and four is to get the Worm King's Ring. There's literally no other, no other reason to do that. So you go get the Worm King's Ring and then, um, yeah, you just proceed with the rest of it kind of like a speed run, even though there's certain things you're not doing, like you're not turning in. You are going to still go get the Altar Slates yourself for War of God's Altar because it's just faster that way. Oh, no, it's not fast enough. It is fast that way because you're not forging them five times. Like, I think it's, I think it might, it's definitely cheaper, and I think it might literally be quicker to do it that way. Just, once you, once you have the pathing down, just go find five. Okay. So, we've done one of the two things we need to do. The other thing we need to do is to go this way. So now that we've unlocked his, uh, the most important part of his inventory was getting his steel parts. After that, we don't really need him anymore. I think he has, like, some brown pants and laborers breeches and stuff like that that are, are specific to him, like denim, hosen, and whatever. But really, uh, we're not really that worried about him. He's, he'll be fine. He'll be fine without him. Um, Jace, let's talk to him. So let's raise his. Is that a guard over there? Oh, that's my my pawn. Come on, Jace, break. You love me. Love me. Gosh. That's what happens when you go an entire playthrough without talking to people. 
I don't think I've been in this camp this entire playthrough. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to the guy. Ooh, we can get beach branches. Oh shoot. I I I I straight up forgot that there was a level of branch higher than than chestnut. Oh wow. Alright. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. Uh yeah, sure. What weapons you got? Probably mostly uh yellow stuff, right? Stuff for uh Yeah, bespoke longbow. He Jace normally carries stuff for the uh for the rogue classes. The yellow classes. Darwolf stuff. Behind the dive. I might end up buying those. They're just kind of expensive, I think. Can't put one. Can't put one. Okay, none of my arrows put one. Basically, makes your head look like a. Wait, wait, wait. Why can't I put them on class? Huh. Interesting assortment of classes for these. So it's like warrior, ranger, or the hybrids associated to those. Or not even really. Yeah. Magic archer. Okay. And there's no matching set to all that. It's just those people. Uh, yeah. Feral cape, dark wolf cape. I think this is the hellhound one, right? I'm pretty sure that's the hellhound one. Anyway, I want it. It's the dark wolf one. I already have one. Uh, any other capes he has I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. With that, we have completely opened up every inventory for every single, uh, what you call it. I'm not sure what's in items first. But we've opened up every inventory for every single merchant. So go us. Yikes. I'm so low on King Wares. Oh, that's not big deal. Just makes you think of <laughs> how much you take uh take for granted. Okay, let's go do this. Um, so from my experience, Holy Affinity is a great way to start this fight. Has he respawned, I guess is the question. Answer might be no. Answer is definitely no, based on what I'm looking at. Her. Fine. I have other dragons I can bother. And they're even weak to my favorite element. I swear, Dragon's Dogma is the exact opposite of uh, freaking, um... Ring. Elden Ring Holy is useless as an element. And Dragon's Dog, Holy is pretty great, honestly. Like, you can count the number of creatures that resist Holy on, like, one hand. Dire Wolf. Um, what else? It's Dire Wolf. It's... 
I think Banshees resist it. It's... And I mean notably resist it, not just have like a little bit of resist. I mean like that specifically resist Holy as an element compared to other elements. It's Direwolf, it's Banshee, I think. Oh, wow. So I guess if you are at 9, you can spam Holy Focus Mode. So you can technically stop. Um, if that's the case, I'm gonna need to find a way to get my account up. I'll probably start by casting High I think I'm gonna swap out my extra mage for an extra sorcerer. I should start charging this already. This is my fault. Because he has plenty of targets. Oh gosh. I know I was gonna get hit by that. That just sucks. Seven, eight, nine, here we go. Trying to play Force Hatchet with the, <laughs> the Archer Staff. This damage is not inspiring, though. It's not inspiring. Alright, I'll just get right here. That's gonna, yep. I'm mad I can have so many frames on him and still lose. Okay, I can get a, I can get a cast out of this. No, I can't. Oh, if they did not distract him, he would have done that for so long. Please, just do it. Don't get distracted. There you go. I need another sorcerer to make this easier. Great. I guess I'll just use regular relays because this takes too long. Love it.
Uh, can I find the actual, like... There we go. As long as he stays on the ground, it makes my life easy enough. I think his has, like, the biggest main thing left. Oh yeah, he's gonna do it. Dang it! Can I just literally get a split second of just you not doing that? So that I could actually have my... Buff. Alright, what I'm gonna do here is... One, two, three, four, five... I gotta find a faster way to do this. Eight, nine. I guess I could have used that. That's the one time I'm really glad they did that. You live by the ponds, you die by the ponds sometimes, guys. Alright, um. Let's get another. Yeah, let's get another. Alright, I need to get out of the way, because he's definitely going to do that. So, that coming. If you're far away enough, just just anticipate that happening. There we go. I tell you guys that killing Erdy with uh, <laughs> with the sorcerer is actually incredibly easy. It's incredibly easy if you don't know that already. All right, now what I want to do here is actually get away from him. Um, I do want this to end. Like I said before. What's a faster way to get those like, casts off? I guess I can get that off and... F yeah, I can get... What's this, three? I cast three high angles. Yeah. Three high angles is what you call it. Three high angles is nine. That's a good way to get maximum stacks. And I could just spam Holy Focus Bone after that. Alright, we're ready to go. This thing, actually, I think it's six shots. Yeah, that's six. In reality, it's six because angle hits twice. She only shot three fireballs, but I have way more than three. Uh, yeah, the effect was not three. So that's six per shot. I should probably use high eleven instead. High eleven is definitely only three shots. I think. <laughs> definitely, probably. Anyway, I don't think I want to buff during this fight. He's almost dead. Anyway. Dang it.
There you go. And that's why we have grit. Is grit way faster on... Grit seems way faster on a sorcerer than on a... Like... Am I doing damage? Alright, I won't be able to see, so let's go ahead. It was the no course that I was working on. Let's try this with high eleven. See if we can get our uh, attacks down straight. Although I guess one grand angle could get you up to if you hit a, the right target. One grand angle could, could get you up to uh, ten. Wait, that was a lot of shocks. That was confusing. I thought... Oh, high 11 is 6 shots. Oh, thanks. Okay, never mind then. 11. <laughs> 11 is 3 shots. High 11 is 6 shots. I don't know what grand 11 is. But this time we're starting with 9. The way you supposed to. Arisen. I know you well. You thought. Alright, so it's his mouth. I have options. I think it was out of range for that first one. It's gonna. I'm gonna get hit. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get hit by that. Ooh, my instincts are good. Look at me just walking slowly with a charge and being able to avoid everything. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure he's going to be over there, then he's going to do this. And I just have to be a step ahead of him to make it all work. Keep my charge. You know you've been playing a game for too long when you've practically memorized um, the enemy... AI to the point where you know what they're going to do before they're they do it. All right. Yeah, Grid is really good on this set. Like, I've been recovering super fast. I don't know if it's just something with physical weapons that makes your Grit way slower, but I've been recovering stupidly fast. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try Hydra Cell here if I have time. Probably not. It's going to charge, but I don't know. Yeah. 
not even close. Wait. Oh, that's right. That was a what you call it attack. So I'm at six. Uh, high eleven. Anywhere. And then holy affinity. I hate farming in this game. I really do. I hate it with a passion. Even I cannot stay. I hate the fact that Dragon Forging is so random. Like it doesn't need to be a random process. That might be a full charge, I'm not sure. Let's try here on this fire spot. I reset my charge. I was too close. Like, uh, a couple steps back was appropriate there. It's gonna come backwards. Love it. Ah, uh, that's how he actually opened his mouth. You're not going to just combo that on me. I already was feeling pretty rough at that time. Not feeling very giving though. 
Super annoying. You, truly, you are stingy. Even you cannot dragon forge my stupid noblewoman's corset. I wonder if... So if I'm not afraid of running out of grit, I wonder if uh, Miasma is a better move. Like, that's a genuine question I have. Is Miasma the better move here? If I'm not afraid of running out of grit. Did I... It looks like I lost all my charge. That sucks. I know you will. Might as well. Or I'm miss. I can with I can totally with that. I would like to actually hit my opponent today. There we go. Get hit. Get hit. Max. I was afraid it happened on me at the exact same time that I was trying to kill him. I was like, that would really suck if it staggered me out of... Uh... Yeah, I have to think about my asthma, honestly. I really do need to think about my asthma. I think my asthma would be a great investment if it works. I don't know if my asthma counts as hitting something because I know you can't, like, counter it and stuff like that. So, how does it count? Up that back up. <laughs> All right, so full body aura. I'll come a little bit closer than last time. Make sure I'm not. On the pole. Accept your fate. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. I was trying to hit uh, one of the two archers with it, but it's fine. Alright, that works. What is going on with this? That's a 30% chance to... Chance to forge that is not cooperating at all. I'm glad I didn't try this with two star stuff. Is this 
it's already annoying the crap out of me. So it looks like I can just do it with a straight up holy thing into his neck. Seriously, what the heck is going on here? I hate this is this is why I hate farming on stream. Cause it never fails. Something stupid is gonna happen, like one piece of armor takes twenty minutes to freaking farm. It, it never fails. It never ever fails. I just wanted to get this piece of armor out of the way so I could wear something better. Uh Yeah, nah. I didn't get full buffs that time. The other thing is Cage Fury is actually kind of annoying with the whole buff system where you have to... Arisen. I know you well. I don't know if I have enough time. It should work out though. This me pawns buffed. I shouldn't have too many issues. That are my pawns are going to do absolutely nothing to help. That's completely optional. That is that is one hundred percent an option. Eh, I just hit you in the face or in the chest. Really eat that one out, guys. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? This is why random number generators shouldn't be a thing in game. Honestly, like game, I like Elden Ring's approach of everything is literally guaranteed and consistent. I hate, hate, hate random. Random is so stupid and bad in a single player focused game. Like, don't do random. Please stop doing random in single player games. There's literally no point to it. Because the whole point of random is to lengthen the amount of time that players play. If it's a single player game, why are you lengthening the amount of time that it takes to do a certain thing? It doesn't make sense unless you're trying to pad the game time, which is dumb anyway. Don't do that either. If it's a multiplayer game, it makes sense because if you want to maintain player engagement, then sure. Having multiple players always trying to chase a new goal, great. I get it. It's annoying still, but I get it. But in a single player RPG, don't do this guy. Don't 
if you're if you ever develop a game, do not do this just because other game developers have done this. Do not have a chance thing happen. Don't put anything in the chance. Like in Elden Ring, you don't have um, you don't have random procs. Things are build ups. Like you have a resistance to a status condition, and it builds up on you. And I get that that's how it works here in Dragon's Dogma as well. But that, that's just what I'm talking about. Like it's good to have these types of systems. It's very good to have these types of systems. Finally got it. Thank you. Let's go. Gosh, that was annoying. That took way too long for what it was. Oh, man. I didn't go mean to go on a rant there, but come on, man. That was ridiculous. Like, just give me the stupid Dragon Forged item. Like, come on, man. And before Dragon's Dog of Dark Arisen release, this was the most reliable way to Dragon Forge something besides redoing the game over again. Or I guess killing online already, which would take hours and hours to do. So yeah, I guess this was the quickest way to reliably Dragon Forge an item. And they put it all up to chance. That's annoying. Like, don't do that. Please don't do that whenever you make games, guys. Um, what are we doing? Alright, so I got 22 wake stones. That'll be enough for the rest of this playthrough. Alright, so I'm not going to go withdraw wake stones, I guess. That's nice. Uh, I do have a problem, though. Actually, I have multiple problems, but let me solve the first one. The first one's solved by just giving 20 of these to my pod, to my main pod. Uh, the second one's solved by throwing this pod into a river, Joel here into a river, and getting a new one. So let's do that. I still got other things I want to do this playthrough. I still gotta go set up all this, all the port crystals for. Uh, and I still want to finish this playthrough this very stream. So that was super annoying. 84 minutes in. Godly, almost an hour and a half in. And I think I might have spent 20 minutes just on Erdy because of that stupid. Alright, anyway. Efficient pork crystal spots. Come on, work with me here. Here, button. There we go. Alright. Where else? Uh, I need to take one from Witchwood down to the Water God's Altar. Um, let me do what I was talking about first, though. Hey, Joel. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're... You're a bit heavy, aren't you? You're you're a, uh, Inquisitor. And that's been nice for me, actually. Thank you for that. But you gotta go in the river. I guess I'm going with you. In Soviet Russia... Pawn drowns arisen. All right, let's go get another pawn, guys. Um, and I can fix myself as well, as far as my armor goes. Um, so we know what I want. I want to. I want a sorcerer, so that I can cast faster. Uh, spell sync, rather. I think the most important spell to have is Belide. And I do want to try. I do want to see what if uh, what you call it works. Um, my asthma works with uh, Belide here. And the mine works with the Cage Fury here. We'll give it a shot against uh, Gazer. Not Gazer, <laughs> Evil Eye, because Evil Eye is highly resistant to all elements except Holy. Where is Belide? Why are you giving me so many? I don't see any of these guys being useful. I have no holy affinity. Oh, there's one with holy affinity. Whoop de doo. All I care about is fire. Just give me fire. I don't care about anything else. Did 
I just leave the rift, come back and see if they re re randomize. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna give it a shot because I can't work with this. I really can't work with this. Like I don't hate this L, but it relies it relies on me being in a position. I like Belia A because it doesn't require me being in a position or an a in aiming. It just relies on. There you are, Belia. Ice Affinity is funny. Holy high Belia. Yeah, this is fine. This is perfect. I'll take that. Look at you in the philosopher's robe. Look at that. Look at that drip. Look at the drip. Look at the drip, guys. Look at that drip. Killing it. Oh, you thought I was killing you? <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, now we've got that covered. Let's go ahead and swap out our. The whole reason we went through that process with the Erdy Dragon was in order to be able to swap from the Noble Woman's Corset to the Alchemic Vest here. If there is all oh, you thought I was feeling you? Oh, uh, where else we going? That's fine, I don't care about that. <laughs> that might actually be useful. Um, let me put it this way. Cool. If there is oh, pray. All right, so we're pretty solid with this set right here. I might end up wanting to Dragonforge the ladies' corset later on, um, just to make sure I, I get it out of the way. All right. Next one is not a Stomp Plains. A Stomp Plains is okay. A Stomp Plains is the one I just set up, so I have to keep that mental inventory. That that's that one. Um, the Witchwood Entrance one is going to be the Stat Hills. Actually, what am I doing? It's the dumbest way to go about this. There's a way faster way to do this. Why am I running? Let's go here. I swear all this is going to make sense next episode when I, when I beat New Game Plus 3 in a single episode. It should be done in less than an hour and a half. The only slow part is going to be me getting the Worm King's ring. Everything else is going to go by stupid fast. I guess the ox kicking part too. The ox part is going to take a while. That's going to be 15 minutes of the stream. Just like it always is. Literally everything else in that episode is going to go by smoking fast. All right, so I think he spawns like right here, as far as the guy goes, right? We'll put it right here. 
I did the spawn as close to the uh, to the monk as possible. Okay, so that poor crystal set up. Cool. Next one. Um, we removed the ruins to Heaven's Peak Fork one from there to near Grand Soren. I'll do that one last then, uh, because I need to go to Grand Soren to do it. Or, not really. I can just grab it, come back to the beginning of the pass, and then run through the pass. Alright, so where is it? It's in Cursewood, right? Yeah. You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> I would never stop saying that. Oh wow, I tried to burn my incense, my incense didn't light fire. See, that's probably what get, get, gave me those bad vibes with Erdy. Not having the incense burning. I should light, I'm gonna relight that in a second while we, uh, while we wait for me to teleport to. Interesting. Um, while you wait for me to teleport to what you call it, the Mountain Way Castle again. Maybe get some good vibes in the room, guys. See if it actually burns this time. All right. Have one. Yep. So this time we're going to put it at the Goblin Spawn on the way to the Griffin from Griffin Spain. Honestly, it feels like I should put one right outside the city gates too, honestly. Just to make that part quicker. I think I had a quest to kill one of these guys, right? Yeah, I might as well do it. Yeah, I didn't spell sink it. This is when it's good to have Giselle. Can you stop? Oh shoot, he's on his feet. There we go. Just wanted some money. Plus it was an easy quest. If you didn't know what I was doing there, this does physical damage to heavy attack. 
So, it does magic damage too, but it does physical damage. That's why I use it in that scenario. Uh, yeah, sure. And when the enemy's frozen, they take double physical damage on the next hit, so that's why I did that. <laughs> Everything makes sense, I swear, guys. Oh, wait. This is the wrong element. Oh, well. How did you think that would work? Oh, I didn't swap to uh, my asthma. I should have to test it. Oh, wait, there, 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 there is more. Let it roll. Just kind of follow it. Up the NR instance. <laughs> Alright. So, just so you know, giant rocks have a AOE, I guess. I'd much rather not. Lady did not like that particular night at all. So it's going to be this one on this side. I think this is where the goblins are chilling. So, what the heck is that? Is that a cockatrice? Oh no, that's the wyvern. So, we'll drop this here. Pour crystal down. Yes, sir. All right. Putting an important crystal right side of, right outside of Grand Soren's gates might work. I just got to see if there's any that are open f for usage. The Abbey I'm not using right now. I could put that one out just right outside of Grand Soren's gate. Was that the outside side? 
Sun Grand Sorens main gate. Before the bridge. Yeah, we'll put we'll put one there. That one will be for um what you call it for actually meeting the guys before this quest. Use the Abbey one for that. And the last one would be the Healing Spring going to Windlift Tower. I'm gonna have to kill that wyvern or not, aren't I? It's cool. I get to look fashionable while doing so, so I'm not that upset about it. I think this is one of the few enemies in a game where using high maelstrom is going to make a lot of sense. Actually, before I do this, let me try... Let me try Miasma over Belide. Or Miasma over, what you call it, rather. Eleven. I just want to know if it works with the Cage Fury. Only a stronger will. Oh, if there is aught I can do... Because if it does work, it could save me some time. If there is oh, pray. So, <laughs> Levin is kind of a. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Electricity before Bitter Black Island, really even on Bitter Black Island, is kind of the red-headed stepchild of Dragon's Dogma elements. There's just not too many situations where it's viable. Not, not necessarily viable, where it's the best element you can use. It's like, okay, you get cockatrices and um, alright, let's try this. Gargoyles in the base game. That's pretty much it. Those are your two creatures that are in Salamet. Those are your three enemies that are weak to lightning damage. stifled.
Oh, I guess climbing attacks count. Oh, come on! Uh, my timing was perfect, it was just... There we go. That's what damage looks like. I could have skipped that fight. <laughs> Honestly, I could have just ran and put down a poor crystal. Tis a welcome breeze. But I can't just skip that fight. I could, but I can't. Alright. So the poor crystal goes right here. Boop. Alright. Next stop. Killing spring. The healing spring one goes to Wind Bluff Tower. Actually, before I do this, there's something else I should do. There's something else way more important I should do. Time is it nighttime? I have to wait until it's daytime, or just move time forward. Pike's still here chilling out. I didn't make him go back to his people's this time. He found a new home, Cassidus. You know what? Now that I think about it, that's probably the better outcome for him. Like, he got his life right. He got his life straight. Granted, he can't go anywhere near the southwest area anymore, because if they, if they spot him, he's dead, right? But... And if he just stays over here, he'll be okay. Yeah, they haven't got anything that crazy. Anyway, he's trying to become an innkeeper now. I need to go buy, um, I need to go get some spring waters. So, that's why I restarted the daytime. And then we'll pick up that pork crystal while we're doing that. I don't know if she sells them or if, yeah, she sells them. Alright, so what did I say, 50 and 20? Fifty, twenty, twenty, and twenty. Oh, 
Alright. Now we go to... This port crystal. We'll pick up the port crystal first just so we don't accidentally over encumber ourselves before we can use it. Alright. In the water. So you collect spring water two point times as fast as your ponds. So when you count to 25, empty their uh, inventory. Or you can just wait for them to stop dipping. Slightly inefficient, but that's what you do to pay for peak pond performance. And ponds are best used for spring water to keep you practically immortal. I might end up using that strategy against the what you call it. I'm in combat with something. Oh, I see. Here, I got something for them. Hopefully, this targets them. She got him. Alright, all my pawns are full up. That's cool. Oh, I've overcome myself already. Yikes. Who looks like they have a ton of space? You look like you have a ton of space. Sorry. I'm more efficient than you are, so I'll just end up taking your empty flasks. Split them up. There. Now I probably should get distracted again. Yeah, 18, 19. That was number 25 for me. I think they're done right. Yeah, they are. Alright, y'all got five more to go. Actually, I'm 
not sure what the math is, but I'm gonna give myself six of those. That should be faster than them, but still kind of curve. All right, they're done. Cool. All right, spring waters. Boy. Um, I will leave those like that then. And this one goes to the stone of the the king of the north. Hopefully, I save as I'm getting here. Nice. Let us see it. And this will save me a. Three, seven, six, five, Mississippi, six, Mississippi, seven, Mississippi, eight, Mississippi, nine, Mississippi, ten, Mississippi, eleven, Mississippi, twelve, Mississippi, Mississippi, six, Mississippi, seven, eight, Mississippi, nine, Mississippi, twenty, Mississippi, one, Mississippi, two, three, Mississippi, four, Mississippi, five, Mississippi, six, Mississippi, seven, Mississippi, oh, ten, Mississippi, eleven, Mississippi, twelve, Mississippi, thirteen, Mississippi, fourteen, Mississippi, fifteen, Mississippi. All right, so I'm going to put it here, because this is about the spot, right? I'm not sure exact trigger point for the quest. I don't play that close of attention, but it, that saves me about a minute of running. So that's a very good port crystal. Uh, and that's all the port crystal setups that we'll need for New Game Plus and for speedrun mode. The rest of the port crystals already had set up just for convenience sake. Uh, normal traveling around Grancis will work for speedrun mode as well um okay so now that we've done all of that i have to face my fears grant soren it is well ned Arith, waste no time on us then don't you Maybe I need to talk to one of the guards. Hopefully it's something that's something. I still have no idea what I did wrong. Um, do I want to take a checkpoint here? I think I do. Just in case things go sideways. If I have a piece what will it be to be understood? Even though it'll checkpoint itself anyway. I do want to take a checkpoint here. Um I also I think want to take some pond guild quests. Some uh some of these, yeah. One, two, Five and six. Honestly, I think I'm just going to withdraw all the 80s right now. What will it be today? I almost forgot to do that. Okay. 
Are there any more left after 86? Nope, that was it. So is this 1 through 6? Okay, cool. Anyone else I should talk to? I was prepared for my Yeah. Oh yeah, can you enter the church right now, or is the church already locked? I hardly ever check to see what's going on over here. You can't enter the church. If the maker sees fit to grant me life, that is. If the maker sees that is. This is very seldomly heard dialogue. Most people, don't, I don't imagine most people. Wow. No Zillicia by name. Sus. To swallow up. There are those who say you joined a pact with the dragon. I do not wish it for the child of man to possess such power. I beg of you, say now that you have not. I beg of you, say Okay. So Jeffrey don't trust me. He think I'm sus. The dragon has brought up, but it has failed to It is just as it is just a man. My man's got faith. If the maker sees that is. What about you? Frightful, is it? Have we been spared the dragons? Ooh, you know what's happening. Well, you don't know what's happening, but you feel it. You understand. I guess we'll talk to these two dudes. Enjoying yourself. Enjoying. Ah, arisen. His grace hath. I need this for. <laughs> might need this. Feels like a setup, honestly. It does feel like a setup when you re when you really think about how empty the castle is. It does feel like a straight up setup. You, you. You. Oh yeah, it does work. Even works in tandem. Nice. Yeah, this is perfect shot. This is the perfect spell. Love to death 
in exchange for glory. Facts. The beast promised you my seat. You slew me, is that it? Is it? Well, you'll not have it. You'll never have it. I'll not give it up. Not to you. I'll rot. It's actually pretty impressively sturdy. Started you're doing New York and did a New York rapper. <laughs> yes, feel the strength of my uh, my asthma blowing you out of a window. Yo, you know this could all be solved by the risen just saying, bruh. Let me tell you what really happened. Because I've heard the whole story just from him. Let me break it down for you slowly. But then again, I wouldn't be able to explain to Everfall, so they wouldn't really want to be hearing it. Oh nice, they actually switched genders for you. I've never seen that before. Just look. I do look like a straight up assassin right now. Like I came in here to murk this dude. I love this set. Like this I, this makes me feel good. I like this set a lot. This is not the work of the dragon's dark magic. First of all, the dragon uses holy magic, but that's beyond the point. <laughs> Nobody's gonna wanna hear that like what do you mean? Look, it's complicated, but technically the dragon is a arisen that failed to become god. And, uh, look, what y'all doing? I knew you for a villain. I've suffered your avarice and deceptions out of deference to the office of Arisen. But you have shown your true color, sir. You are a traitor to the Duke and to us all. Put this robe to chains, men. His grace commands the Arisen's capture, dead or alive. Uh, we're going to do this like this. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> I bet I still failed to get her. This time, I can blame myself because I still failed to get her. Uh, what you call it? Some, some, some. Oh, yeah, I did max out Warm Welcome that time. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Alright, so the only quest I have not maxed out now is Troublesome Tome. And I'm pretty sure that when you max out by actually doing the entire, uh, what you call it, quest. It doesn't matter where I land. If you would heed my call, prove now. Okay. Chamber of Absence. Was Absence a chamber? I thought it was Chamber of Confusion. What 
the heck is going on? Do I not have to do Chamber of Confusion? If I don't have to do Chamber of Confusion, I can go straight to the Seneschal then. That makes my life a lot easier. Right here. Hello. Yes, at last. With them. This rift. I fear there will be no returning. End them. Yeah. I guess if you jump in with 20 rift stones on you, you get to just go ahead and skip uh, the, the entire chamber of absence. Or, excuse me, chamber of confusion and go straight to. Uh... Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. So jump in with the rift stones and you skip the entire chamber of confusion. Good to know. Or at least I think that's how it works. Maybe I did something different. Maybe that's a new game plus thing. Anyway, we're going to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, this is a good setup for this. Love on my. Oh, I got plenty of room. Not gonna reach is it? The intent was there though. You you know I'm hostile. I came here ready to kill. Well met. Yes. Not doing this. Fight arisen as you air have fought in coming here. What is it that impels you? What force spurs you on? What sustained your wanderings and led you here? I ask you, what is it that makes you alive? This is kind of the worst weapon for this battle. Because I need to stand in one spot. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has brought you here. Stop it! <laughs> Show that the temper of your soul is strong enough to command far more than mere ah, Can't just skip it. Show that your will is fit to bind the fraying circle of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Struggle now and cling to life. Show that living holds worth enough to fight for. There you go. Just barely managed to get that off in time. Tis a simple choice arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. Go. There is naught to be gained from my words now. Indeed, heed no voice but your own. My, my, <laughs> this is too great an honor for one of my stature. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Sling with her goodbye always gets me. I think that's everybody. Yep. Why can't I run? Alright, this time I gotta grab and Pawn has to, has to uh, do the thing. I grab Pawn Stabs. Journey 
Yes. Stoke the flame of your will to survive. To be victorious. Temper your soul in its heat. The forge of my heart grows cold, and the world shivers for it. Know this, Arisa. The world is merciless, cold and empty, for all its beauty. No, no, no. My turn. Let you go. Yo, that one shot me. Wow, my armor probably is kind of important here. It might be a little important to have armor during this during this fight. I kind of underestimated how much damage she does. Stoke the flame of your will to survive. To be victorious, temper your soul in its heat. The forge of my heart grows cold, and the world shivers for it. It is my will. Kind of a glass cannon, now. My will that it is a fight that knows no end. It repeats upon itself, that all the world may repeat with it. And so the cycle continues, forever and ever and ever. Can you... Can you do your job? Golly. I don't, I don't get to use a wake stone, right? Ugh. Super annoying. Yes. Stoke. It is and it is my will that keeps it spinning. My will that urges time onward through eternity. It is a fight that knows no end. It repeats upon itself that all the world may repeat with it. And so the cycle continues, forever and ever and ever. You aren't meant to beat the game in Sultry Set. Let him go. It is a fight okay. that knows no Let end. me. It repeats upon itself, that all the world may repeat with it. And so the cycle continues, forever and ever and ever. Come on, get him. No. Super annoying. Like I just need my pawn to actually swing at the dude when I when I grab him. Do I need to hold the button in order to make sure I'm pinning him? Stoke the flame of your will to survive. To be victorious. It is an it is my will that keeps it spinning. My will that urges time onward through eternity. Our kind must fight. No, hold it. Through fighting, prove the temper of our will. Okay, so holding the hold button, like I'm trying to pin him, helped, but she was just too slow on it that time. Okay. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. I didn't realize this would be harder to do as the holder than as the uh to be victorious. Temper your soul in its heat. Then as the uh what you call it. It repeats upon itself that all the world as the beneficiary. And so the cycle continues forever and ever and ever. Okay, that doesn't work for me. Is a fight that knows no end. It repeats upon itself that all the world may repeat. There we go. And so the cycle can finally got it. Plus zero set. That's why I'm dying. Plus zero everything, honestly. Oh look, he has the... is that the symbol for holy on his throne? Looks like it. 
I guess it's my throne now. Can I just go straight for it? I think I can just go straight for it, right? Yeah, I can. Nice. Where'd you get my threads from? That's the real question. Okie dokie. And with that, New Game Plus 1 is over. We'll do Plus 2 and Plus 3 in record time. You'll see in a second. Well, you'll see tomorrow, rather. But for now, we're done with New Game Plus 1. So, 2 and 3 are coming, guys. Um... I intend for both of those to be their own episode. I might just do them in both in one three-hour episode, honestly, just to make it quick. Okay, we got a second set of Duke's clothing. Noise. That's what you get for being the entire game in hard mode. So I started this uh, video with the additional outfit message I'm ending it <laughs> just my alarm I'm ending it with the uh, Duke's message outfit the Duke's message Duke's outfit message there we go and next time we'll be doing it all over again but it won't take anywhere near as long because we're just going straight through the game cool so as always I've been myself you've been awesome peace